Hi Aries, this is for Aries in Aries. If you're in a relationship, this is Born with a Veil. Today is October the 15th, and this is going to go from the 15th to the 17th. I thought I'd read a few cards before I go to work. So spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The time is perfect and you are ready to soar. So whatever it is, Aries and Aries, that you both are wanting to do within this relationship, do it. Don't hold back. If you've got plans, go ahead and make the go ahead and do the plans. Do them now. If Aries and Aries are separated and you want to get back together again, go ahead and do it now is the perfect timing to do this. If you want to go on vacation, now is the perfect time. If you want to get married get engaged, get married, now is the perfect time to do so. Okay? Um Archangel Regul, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings. So watch your physical and emotional feelings within this relationship. Um, your divine guidance is guiding you on this. Uh, you guys love each other. You are in love, Aries and Aries. Uh, even if you're separated, you're thinking about each other, you're missing each other. If you're together, you love each other very much. Take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. you got to take back your power. Some of you have let your power go in this relationship. You've stepped back. You can't do it. you got to come full force and take your power back. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Have you been manifesting? Have you been praying since the full moon? Uh, you should be manifesting every day with parchment paper. I'll be doing some spells uh, later on in the week so I can show you what to do. But you need to start manifesting and praying of what you want in your life. New car, new house, new relationship. Or you two Aries want to get back together. Or you two Aries want to get married. Whatever you want new i mean you guys want to move whatever it is that you want you got to start manifesting for it it's just not going to happen you have to start manifesting and bring it closer to you okay all is well everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to so everything that's happening in your life is supposed to happen at this time aries and aries if you two are together it's meant to be if, if both of you are separated at this time maybe the universe and the angels want you to separate so you guys can get your shit together think about what you want to do within this relationship because some of you are uh playing patty patty picnic with this relationship and um you can't do that you, you either want this relationship or you don't. And hidden blessings, you will soon understand. There's some hidden blessings, but, but you're not going to see them right now because it's not time for you to see these blessings that are coming your way. Aries and Aries, you got some good blessings coming your way. Outdoors, go outside and get some fresh air. Connect with nature to re uh, relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So some of you need to be outside more. You're not outside enough. You're cooped up in the house. If you're not working, you stay cooped up. Um, some of you just go to work and come home. Uh, some of you really need to get out in nature before it gets too cold. It depends where you live. But uh, even go around the block. Walk around the block. You know, uh, go for a drive. Go somewhere because some of Aries and Aries are not doing anything. Go on vacation together, Aries and Aries. Catch a flight somewhere if you can't afford it. Go for a walk, hand in hand. Do something together or by yourself. Outdoors is good for you to get some fresh air. Comfort, Archangel Ezreal. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So the ones that are split up, right now the angels are helping you heal. Uh, some of you are very lonely. You do miss your mate, Aries and Aries, that are separated. You miss each other very much. Um... Some of you are lost. You feel like that was your soulmate, your twin flame. Some of you are very lost without them. But you know that you have to keep moving on. Uh, some of you pray for this soulmate, twin flame to come back. But you have to make it happen, Aries and Aries. Call, text, do something. Uh, victory. 
Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So the ones that are manifesting, the ones that are praying, yes, your prayers have been answered and it's going to happen. You'll start seeing your blessings before the winter comes. Compassion. Soften your heart with respect to the situation. So some of you might be arguing or having disagreements at this time or not communicating. Um, you gotta soft, you gotta soften your heart and you gotta respect what's happening. Why is it happening? And all the people involved, including yourself. So you have to give each other respect. No matter what's happening, you have to respect each other, soften your heart, try to work it out. You could be together, you could be separated and still have arguments and quarrels or misunderstandings or not talking right now or been ghosted or you ghosted someone. Um, sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Yes. That's because of the full moon and we're in retrograde pretty soon. So yes, everybody's gonna be extra sensitive. You might be snapping off at the mouth. You might be uh, agitated, um, having bad feelings. Honor yourself and your feelings. So try to get those feelings and emotions under control, okay? Hello from heaven. You are Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Some of you feel guilty about the death of a loved one. Um, maybe you weren't there in their life, uh, and maybe you were. Uh, maybe you weren't there at the time of their death, and they passed without you, or they passed when you were there, and you're feeling like you could have done more. No. When it's a person's time, it's a person's time. It's time for them to go. Okay? So you remember that. You never hold any grudges. You don't hold any bad feelings about you could have done more. When, when it's your time, believe me, it's your time. And there's nothing that you can do about this Aries on Aries. I will do one more and then I got to get going to work. Courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. So you got to be courageous on a job or in a relationship, Aries and Aries, and you got to stand up for your belief. If that's what you believe, then that's what you believe. And you fight for what you believe. Share what you believe with your partner. Okay? Uh, what do I see psychically? I do see Aries and Aries um, getting married. I do see you getting back together again. I do see new loves coming in. Uh, some of you that are twin flames and soulmates, you will be getting back together again, and then some of you will not. This is just a general reading, okay? So if you want a better reading, get in contact with me at bornwithavail at yahoo.com or write me on YouTube. Or you could call me 313-401-3707. Text me only, please, because I'm at work during the day. So good luck, Aries and Aries, in your relationship, and God bless.